Votran Gold Service User Guide, a service of Volusia County Government. Votran Gold Service Contact Information. Call Center for Reservations, East Volusia, 386-322-5100. West Volusia, 386-943-7050. Southeast Volusia, 386-424-6810. TDD for hearing slash speech impaired. Daytona Beach Area Customer Service, 386-756-7494. West Volusia Customer Service, 386-943-7052. Southeast Volusia Customer Service, 386-424-6820. Florida Relay Center, 1-800-955-8770. Email comments, Votran Customer Service at Volusia.org. Mission Statement. Votran's mission is to identify and safely meet the mobility needs of Volusia County. This mission will be accomplished through a courteous, dependable, and environmentally sound team commitment to quality service. Introduction. Votran is a service of Volusia County Government, providing non-medical and non-emergency transportation within the county boundary limits. Votran Gold Service is a door-to-door -door shared ride paratransit service. Since the service is provided from door-to-door, -door, you must be ready for your pickup on the ground floor, in the lobby, or at the main entrance. In addition, shared ride means your trip could involve stopping to pick up or drop off other customers along the way. This special service is provided only for those individuals who cannot use Votran regular fixed route bus service because of a disability or when fixed route service is not available in your area and you have no other means of transportation. To become qualified for this special service, a completed application must be submitted to Votran for processing and determination of eligibility. When making a reservation for service, please keep in mind a local trip within the same service area can take up to one hour Trips from one service area to another can take up to two hours. Votran does not provide Medicaid-supported transportation. Votran Gold Service Overview Who is eligible to use Votran Gold? Votran Gold is intended to serve a limited group of people, specifically those sponsored under the following. Americans with Disability Act, ADA, those individuals who reside within three-fourths mile of an established bus route but cannot use Votran regular fixed route service because of a disability. Transportation disadvantaged, TD, includes qualifying individuals located in areas where fixed route service is not available and who have no other means of transportation available. Agencies, includes people whose trips are funded under a negotiated agency contract. Votran will determine the funding category appropriate for each customer. If you have questions about your eligibility status, please call Votran Customer Service Staff at 386-756-7496, option number four. What groups participate in coordinating Votran Gold? A Transportation Disadvantaged Local Coordinating Board, TDLCB. The TDLCB is established under the Florida statute to oversee the delivery of paratransit services, resolve customer disputes, and monitor quality of service. The Community Transportation Coordinator, CTC. Votran acts as the CTC for Volusia County, coordinating and providing many of the transportation needs for ADA and TD. Private Contractors. These operators provide paratransit services under contract with Votran. To explain the services offered by Votran Gold, we have prepared this user guide to help you plan your trips and to make your transportation run as smoothly as possible. It is important that you take the time to read this guide completely to avoid any misunderstandings about the services offered by the system. Service Areas Although Votran Gold serves all of Volusia County, certain restrictions may apply to the trips provided. These limitations may impact the times you can travel or the destinations that may be available to you. East Volusia, Ormond Beach, Ormond by the Sea, Holly Hill, Daytona Beach, South Daytona, Port Orange, 
Daytona Beach Shores, Wilbur by the Sea, and Ponce Inlet. Southeast Volusia, New Smyrna Beach, Edgewater, and Oak Hill. West Volusia, Osteen, Enterprise, Casadega, DeLand, Orange City, DeBerry, Deltona, and DeLeon Springs. Northwest Volusia, Astor, Barberville, Pearson, and Seville. Trips between service areas may take two hours. It is important to check the times of operation before you schedule your appointment. Please contact the call center to determine what times the vehicles operate between service areas. Destinations. Votran Gold Service provides specialized transportation throughout Volusia County. However, some travel limitations may exist based on the sponsor category of each qualified applicant. It is important that each of our customers understand the services available to them. Depending on the program for which you are eligible, some service restrictions may apply as a result of federal or state regulations. ADA Service Sponsored Customers These customers may only schedule trips that begin and end in the ADA corridor. The corridor is an area within three-fourths of a mile on either side of a fixed bus route. While you may be certified to ride Votrain Gold, all destinations in the county may not be within the ADA corridor. Transportation Disadvantage Program Sponsored Customers TD customers are those located outside of the ADA corridor. These clients are permitted to schedule trips countywide for weekday and Saturday service. Night and Sunday transportation is only available in the ADA corridor, where fixed routes operate night and Sunday. Agency-sponsored customers. People traveling under agency-sponsored trips are only authorized to take trips if it's arranged by the particular agency sponsoring the trip. Service times. Service hours correspond to those provided by the nearest fixed bus route. You can review the bus schedule for detailed service hours in your area or call our call center. The following hours are a general guide. East Volusia, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday through Saturday. West Volusia and Southeast Volusia, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday through Saturday. Evening Schedule, limited service is available in Daytona during evening hours, 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. Sunday Schedule, limited service is available in Daytona on Sunday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Holiday Schedules. Votrin does not operate on New Year's Day, Thanksgiving Day, or Christmas Day. Limited service is available on Memorial Day, 4th of July, and Labor Day. Please contact our call center for further information on our holiday schedules. Gold Service Eligibility. Votrin Gold Service is designed to assist those individuals who cannot access Votrin regular fixed route bus service because of either of the following a disability, ADA customers, fixed route service is not available in your area and you have no other means of transportation available, TD customers. In order to determine whether or not a person is best served with Votrin Gold, an eligibility process has been established. Application process. One, eligibility applications are available by calling Votran Customer Service. The application may also be downloaded and printed from votran.org. Two, the eligibility application must be filled out completely to be considered for transportation services from Votran. If you need assistance completing your application, Votran staff members are available to help. Three, the completed application will be reviewed by Votran and a determination of eligibility will be made based on the information provided. A staff interview or assessment may be required to complete the process. Four, the eligibility process can take up to 21 days to complete. If you qualify for Votrain Gold Service, the scheduling of future trips is a quick and easy process. Customers are subject to recertification every three years. Visitors with Disabilities Votrain provides complimentary paratransit service to individuals who travel to Volusia County and are eligible for services under the ADA. If these individuals have been certified as ADA paratransit eligible, by a public entity, 
that certification will be honored for up to 21 days. If they have not been certified as eligible by another public entity but claim that they are ADA paratransit eligible, they are entitled to presumptive eligibility for up to 21 days. If the service is needed beyond this period, individuals will be required to apply for eligibility in the area they are visiting. Travel Assistance Votran is a non-medical, non-emergency shared ride service. Many of our customers require assistance during their travel. While Votran drivers are able to provide assistance to and from vehicle, some customers require more personalized care. This section of the guide addresses customers' needs that extend beyond the responsibility of a gold operator. Oxygen transport. Travel with oxygen equipment is permitted providing that it is self-administered and can be safely stowed when the vehicle is en route. Votran operators and contracted vendors are not permitted to supply, connect, or disconnect oxygen. For passengers that use oxygen in a wheelchair, the oxygen tank must be carried by the passenger or in a carrier affixed to the wheelchair. Personal belongings. Passenger property that can be safely carried by the passenger and or the driver in one trip and can be safely stowed on the vehicle shall be allowed to be transported with the passenger. Personal belongings may not occupy any seat or floor space that blocks the boarding or deboarding of another passenger. Age requirements. Children under the age of six years must have an escort. Effective January 1, 2015, Children under the age of 6 years and or under the weight of 45 pounds will be required to use a child restraint device. Due to the cost of purchasing, maintaining, and replacing the devices, and for sanitary reasons related to the transmittal of communicable diseases, these devices must be provided by the accompanying adult or escort. Companions One companion may accompany an ADA paratransit eligible rider. However, both must be picked up and dropped off at the same address. Accompanying companions pay the same fare as the eligible rider. When making a reservation, you must indicate that a companion is traveling with you. Service animals. Service animals are welcome at all Votran facilities, on all Votran vehicles, as well as on Votran's private contractor vehicles as per Florida State Statute 413.08 and in accordance with the Americas with Disabilities Act of 1990. All other uncreated animals are prohibited. Personal care attendants. Children under the age of six and individuals requiring special assistance while en route must have an escort slash personal care attendant, PCA. The PCA must be able to provide the necessary assistance to the passenger and will be transported free of charge. Only one PCA may ride free of charge. In cases where it is not evident that the individual needs an escort, medical documentation stating the reason an escort is needed will be required. The PCA will travel with the passenger to assist with life functions and to facilitate travel. Although a PCA may travel with a customer, the Votrain Gold operator still has a responsibility to assist from door to door. Both the PCA and the rider must be picked up and dropped off at the same address. A PCA request must be approved on the initial application in order to be eligible to travel with a rider. To be eligible for a PCA, a physician or other qualified professional must include this information on your application. The information provided must state the functional limitations that require you to have additional assistance. If your physical status changes after the application is approved without a PCA being authorized and one is now required, a letter must be submitted from a physician or other qualified professional stating that you now require a PCA. Agencies who schedule trips for children under the age of six will be responsible for providing escorts or bus aids if a parent or guardian does not accompany the child. A parent or guardian escorting an underage child may not bring additional children unless the other children have a scheduled reservation and will be receiving a service. Gold vehicle operators are available to assist passengers from the door of their pickup location to the door of their destination. However, we require the passengers needing additional assistance upon reaching their destination also travel with an escort or PCA. Reserving your trip. Due to the volume of customers served by Votrain Gold each day, trips must be called in ahead of time to allow for proper scheduling. Contacting the call center for reservations. You may request a trip by calling the Votrain customer service number. Requests for next day service must be called in by 5 p.m. on the day preceding your trip. Same-day service is not available. 
Trips may also be booked up to one week in advance by calling the call center between 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday through Sunday. What do I do if the phone lines are busy? Because of the number of trip requests we receive on a daily basis, our phone lines are sometimes busy. When you call to make a reservation for service and hear a recording, please stay on the line and the next available agent will be happy to assist you. Please note that our busiest hours are from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. and from 3.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. When you call for an appointment, please have the following information available. Please confirm whether you are in a manual or powered wheelchair or will be using another mobility device. Confirm whether you have a condition that affects whether you need a lift or ramp to board. Pick up location, origin, name, phone number, address, including street and building, and apartment number, town or city, and zip code. Destination, name, phone number, address including street and building, and apartment number, town or city, and zip code. Time you want to arrive at your destination and return time if you will require an additional trip from the specified destination. Please inform the agent if you require a PCA on your trip and specify whether the PCA is ambulatory or in a wheelchair. Also, please inform the agent of any additional travel requirements needed to schedule your trip, such as traveling with a service animal, PCA, or a companion. Return trip information exact location and time, see section on return trips for details. Some facilities are very large with many buildings and entrances. In order for us to provide your trip, you need to identify the exact entrance. Normally, you will be picked up at the same entrance where you were dropped off. Always give the agent the time you need to be at your destination or the time of your healthcare appointment. Since the vehicle will pick up several customers, trips are scheduled based on your appointment time. There is a pickup window that requires passengers to be ready up to one hour in advance of their scheduled appointment time. This means that if you have a 9 a.m. appointment, you may be picked up as early as 8 a.m. If for any reason you need to arrive earlier than the appointment time, then your reservation time should reflect the earlier time to ensure that you arrive for the scheduled appointment. If you are traveling from one service area to another, check with the call center agent for the service area schedule. You should be ready for your trip at least two hours prior to your appointment. When you schedule your transportation, you must also schedule your return trip. Return trips that are not scheduled in advance will not be accepted. If you are not ready at your scheduled return time, you may have to wait for a return ride to become available, which could be up to two hours after you call. Therefore, it's important to schedule your return trip late enough so that you will be ready when your vehicle arrives. Votran will be better able to accommodate a change in return trip if we are notified promptly. Please contact Votran as soon as possible to inform us about a change to your trip. When making your doctor's appointment, please inform the physician's office that you are riding on public transportation and that you need to be ready to return when the vehicle arrives. In most cases, you will be picked up at the same location you were dropped off. If for some reason the pickup location is different, be sure to tell the agent exactly where you will be waiting for your return trip. The driver will be given this information and will be looking for you at that location. Do not leave the area or you could miss your ride. Please be advised that the one hour delivery window applies to all return trips and that the travel between service areas is a two hour delivery window. If you are ready for your return trip more than one hour before it is scheduled, you may contact Votran to request an earlier pickup. If you wait more than one hour after your scheduled pickup time, Call the Votran customer service number and a representative will assist you. Calling within the pickup window will not expedite your trip. Vehicles will only stop at predetermined origin and destination points that you reserve in advance. Drivers will not make additional stops except in an emergency. Subscription service. A standing order or subscription service can be established when a customer regularly travels to and from the same destination two or more times a week at the same times. You will save time by submitting a standing order. However, you must contact the call center immediately if your plans change to avoid being charged with a cancellation or no-show. Subscription trips must be scheduled at least three days in advance of the starting date of the trips. If you are beginning medical treatment such as dialysis, Votrin requests that subscribed trips do not start until your schedule has stabilized. Then subscription trips can be made. Subscription service may be canceled at any time 
but changes to subscription service are limited to once a month. What are the best times to ride in the system? The Votran system operates on public roads and highways. Occasionally, our vehicles will run behind schedule during periods of peak demand, such as special events, during rush hour, or during inclement weather. Your trip will have fewer problems if you avoid peak travel periods. Taking your trip. Please be ready at the door with your fare. Pickup time on the day of your trip will be set depending on other passengers boarding with you. You need to be ready for your pickup when the vehicle arrives. Failure to board within five minutes after the vehicle arrives will result in a no-show and a missed trip because the same day reservation is not available. Fare information. Fares will depend upon your sponsorship or funding source. Your agent will tell you the cost of your trip when your reservation is made. The driver will collect the fare from you when you board the vehicle. You must have the exact change. Drivers do not carry money and will not make additional stops to get change. Failure to pay the appropriate fare may jeopardize your transportation eligibility. Please do not tip the drivers. One-way tokens are available in various quantities. For your convenience, you may purchase gold tokens online at votran.org. For information on purchasing one-way tokens, please call 386-756-7496, extension 4105. Drivers and Vehicles Votran operates vehicles designed to accommodate ambulatory and wheelchair customers. Gold service drivers are not responsible for charging, connecting, or disconnecting any equipment used by a customer. Please ensure that all equipment is functioning properly and independently prior to starting your trip. To achieve the goals of shared ride transportation, customers are expected to share transportation with other customers. Customers may not request a specific transportation provider. When you request service, you may be scheduled to ride with one of the private contractors or one of the Votran vehicles. All Votran and contract operator drivers are required to wear uniforms and picture identification badges. All vehicles are plainly marked with the name of the company in a prominent location. Votran Gold provides door-to-door -door paratransit service. Our drivers are trained to help those who require assistance to and from the vehicle. We do not enter a person's home or a person's room at a living facility. In addition, we do not go above the first floor of a multifamily residence. The customer must be waiting on the ground floor, in the lobby, or at the main entrance. Our vehicles are equipped to transport wheelchairs or scooters. However, the customer must have their own wheelchair or scooter. Vehicles may be equipped with a ramp or a lift for entry. Wheelchair customers must be on the first floor with no more than one step from the entrance of the residence to ground level. If there is more than one step to negotiate, an accessible ramp must be installed in order to accommodate the customer. In addition, customers in wheelchairs should have an accessible boarding area on which the lift can safely be deployed and the area leading up to the boarding area should be firm to accommodate the approach to the wheelchair lift. Grass, gravel, and soft sand are not acceptable surfaces, but Votra will make every effort to accommodate passenger pickup locations within the vehicle's capacity. Wheelchairs must be equipped with footrest. Not ready for pickup. In the event that a passenger is not ready to make their return trip when the gold service vehicle arrives, the passenger will be placed into will call status. Will call status means the passenger must contact Votran when they are ready for their return trip and they will be picked up as soon as the vehicle is available, which may be up to two hours from the time of call. This is not intended to allow for rescheduling of a trip on the same day. Cancellation and no-show policy. No-show. No-show occurs when a person has reserved a trip and then does not take the trip when the vehicle arrives. A no-show is also applied to a person who cancels their trip within one hour of the scheduled pickup time. Same-day cancellation. Same-day cancellation occurs when a person has reserved a trip and then cancels the trip on the same day it was scheduled, but more than one hour prior to the pickup time. Advance cancel. Advanced cancel occurs when a person has reserved a trip and then cancels the trip at least one day prior to the reservation date. Individuals, their guardians, or agency sponsors must cancel trips as soon as they become aware that the trip will not be made. 
Persons who call less than one hour prior to their scheduled pickup time to cancel a trip will be informed that they will be counted with a no-show and informed of the penalty. If an individual has a pickup slash return trip scheduled and is a no-show on the first trip, the return trip will not be canceled unless the individual calls VOTRAIN to cancel the return trip. If the return trip is not canceled by the individual and is a no-show, it will be counted as two no-shows for the same day on the individual's record. Persons who are unavailable to make the trip when the driver arrives to pick them up will also be marked as no-show. Individuals on subscription service, two or more trips per week to the same location, must notify the VOTRAIN office if they are not to be picked up for a previously scheduled trip. Trips that are canceled on the same day that the trip is scheduled, but no more than one hour prior to the scheduled pickup time, are classified as same-day cancellations. Six same-day cancellations in one month will be allowed. Over six same-day cancellations will result in a reminder letter. For individuals who call in a day or more ahead to cancel a trip, the trip will be made inactive and be classified as an advanced cancellation. Advanced cancellation shall be monitored and customers will be notified upon repeated occurrences. Customers with more than 10 one-way trips per month are permitted to have up to 10% of their one-way trips as no-shows within a month. Customers with no-shows above this level will be added to a watch list and be monitored for repeated offenses. Customers with subscription service will have their standing order suspended for a fixed period of time. Customers with subscription service identified with a pattern of continued system abuse will be subject to progressive action as follows. 1. The first offense will result in a suspension of subscription service for one week. Votran staff will send a letter notifying the client when they will be suspended, meaning that they will still be able to reserve each trip needed by contacting the call center. Two. If the person is reinstated to the program and they continue a pattern of abuse within a 90-day period, the second subscription suspension will be for two weeks, meaning that they will still be able to reserve each trip needed by contacting the call center. Three, if the customer is again reinstated and has a third offense within a 90-day period, the subscription suspension will be for 30 days, meaning that they will still be able to reserve each trip needed by contacting the call center. Four. Upon the fourth occurrence within a six-month period, the individual's subscription privileges will be terminated permanently, meaning that they will still be able to reserve each trip needed by contacting the call center. If the individual responds to any no-show notifications and provides acceptable verifiable evidence that the no-show was due to an unforeseen, unavoidable circumstance or an error in scheduling, the missed trip will not be counted as a no-show or same-day cancellation. Votrain clients are ultimately responsible for canceling trips. Rights and Responsibilities The Florida Commission for the Transportation Disadvantaged has established the following set of rights and responsibilities for paratransit services such as Votrain Gold. Please remember that Votrain acts as a CTC for Volusia County. Safety Votrain customers have the right to 1 trips in air-conditioned or heated vehicles, two, safe, clean, properly equipped and smoke-free vehicles, three, properly fastened seatbelts and or mobility device tie-downs, four, vehicle transfer points that are sheltered, secure, and safe, five, a properly identified driver, six, adequate seating to include ample space for service animals, Seven, assistance in maneuvering mobility devices up and down a maximum of one step. And eight, the Community Transportation Coordinator, CTC Policy on Medical Emergency During Transport. Votrain customers are responsible for, one, being ready and waiting for the vehicle in a safe location up to one hour prior to your scheduled appointment time. Two, keeping seatbelts and mobility device tie down secure until the vehicle stops. Three, remaining seated until the vehicle comes to a complete stop. Four, reporting any safety hazards. Five, keeping wheelchairs or other mobility aids in good condition. Six, not tampering with or operating vehicle equipment. Seven, addressing car seat provision with the CTC. Eight, making the CTC aware of customers' physical and or mental conditions prior to transport. And nine, adhering to the policy for violent and or disruptive behavior. Courtesy. Votrain customers have the right to 1. 
professional, courteous, and properly trained drivers, two, assistance while getting into and out of the vehicle and to the seat, and three, assistance with as many packages as can be safely carried by the passenger and the operator in one trip. Please limit the packages to those that can be stored in your lap to avoid blocking aisles or passenger seats. Votran customers are responsible for, one, calling in the trip cancellations as soon as possible, but not less than one hour prior to the scheduled pickup time to avoid being marked as a no-show. Two, informing the CTC of all pertinent information regarding the trip. Three, presenting the correct fare. Four, being ready at the time of the pickup. And five, ensuring personal hygiene. Complaints. Votran customers have the right to, one, File complaints without fear of retaliation. Two, prompt investigations and effective resolutions. Three, request a reasonable modification to policies and practices. And four, current and complete program information. Votrain customers are responsible for one, filing complaints in a timely manner. And two, providing the CTC with pertinent information regarding any comment or complaint. Service. Votrain customers have the right to 1. Pickups within the established one hour pickup window, two hours for trips between service areas. 2. Expect the driver to wait up to five minutes. 3. Toll free accessibility to the CTC. 4. Be delivered to an appointment on time. 5. The CTC's policy on subscription service. And 6. The CTC's policy on no shows. Votrain customers are responsible for 1. Advising the agent of appointment times 2. Accepting a shared ride service 3. Scheduling trip requests at least one day in advance and 4. Providing their own wheelchair and or escort. Passengers are responsible for observing safety rules including use of seatbelts, not standing while the vehicle is in motion, and waiting for the driver to assist them on and off the bus. Florida state law determined that all passengers on paratransit vehicles must wear seatbelts. A passenger who refuses to remain seated with the seatbelt in place will be denied service. If you have medical documentation stating that the use of a seatbelt may be detrimental to your health, the seatbelt regulation will be waived. Please inform the call center agent of your situation when you schedule your first trip. You will be required to provide Votrin with written documentation to have the seatbelt requirement waived. Appropriate behavior. Passengers may not eat, drink, smoke, including electronic cigarettes and personal vaporizers, or spit on the vehicle. Passengers are responsible for being considerate of other passengers in sharing rides, practicing good personal hygiene, and to refrain from excessive noise, constantly changing seats, throwing objects, fighting, sticking heads or arms out the windows, and or lewd behavior in speech, etc. This behavior will not be tolerated. In accordance with Votrans policies, service may be refused, suspended, or terminated due to seriously disruptive behavior, illegal conduct or threats, or violent abusive treatment towards the operator or other passengers. Seriously disruptive conduct does not include behavior or appearances that only offend, annoys, or inconveniences other riders or employees. When it has been determined by the Votran Operations Manager that suspension will be initiated, communication of the suspension of service will be made by phone and or mail to the passenger or parent guardian of the passenger with a copy to the appropriate agency, if applicable. Illegal conduct could result in a 30-day suspension. Service animals, although allowed on Votran and contractor vehicles and in Votran facilities, must display appropriate behavior while riding on the vehicle. Any service animal that poses a direct threat to the health and safety of others may be excluded from riding Votrain Gold Service or entering a Votrain facility, as per Florida State Statute 413.083C and the ADA of 1990. Additionally, a disruptive service animal, e.g. a dog that constantly barks while on board, may be excluded. The individual with the disability who uses the service animal still has the option to ride Votrain Gold on future trips without the service animal. Transportation during emergencies. 
When Volusia County Emergency Management declares an emergency evacuation order, Votran can help you with transportation to a shelter. If you reside in a nursing home, assisted living facility, or group home, your facility is responsible for arranging private transportation in emergencies. You will not qualify for transportation with Votran. During declared emergencies, Votran will utilize the following procedures. 1. Transportation is free during evacuations declared by the County Emergency Operations Center, EOC only. 2. All Votran fixed route bus stops are evacuation assembly points. However, if you cannot access the bus stop, contact Votran Customer Service Center to make transportation arrangements. 3. Once a pickup has been scheduled, Votran will dispatch a vehicle within four hours. Votran will contact you if there is a delay. Do not call again as you may tie up the phone lines or another vehicle may be sent unnecessarily. If you do not need the trip you scheduled, call as soon as possible to cancel. 4. The driver will assist you with your belongings. Limited carry-ons are allowed to include a pillow, blanket, one bag no larger than 22 inches by 16 inches by 8 inches, and an oxygen tank, up to two, and or concentrator. You will be taken to the appropriate closest shelter. Call early because buses stop running when winds reach 35 miles per hour sustained. 5. When you call, be prepared to give your name, address, city and zip code, apartment complex name, subdivision, or any other information that will help the driver locate you. Also, let the agent know whether you will be using a wheelchair, walker, or cane, or whether you will have oxygen, a service animal, a pet, or a PCA. 6. Pets may be transported with you as long as they are in a cage or crate and are able to be lifted onto the vehicle. If you have a larger pet or no pet carrier, Volusia County Animal Control will transport your pet to your shelter. The Animal Control Services number is 386-248-1790. As a Votran Gold user, you should register for the Special Needs Shelter Program. Contact Volusia County Emergency Management at 386-258-4088 to obtain the registration package. Only activated during a disaster. Citizens Information Center, 866-345-3045, TDD, 386-248-1792. Customer Feedback. If you experience a problem with any aspect of the service, you may call or write to Votran's Customer Service Department. Please call 386-756-7496 or 386-761-7700 and ask to speak to a customer service representative. You may use the web comment form at votran.org slash contact us or email Votran Customer Service at volusia.org. To send your complaint in writing, direct your correspondence to Votran Customer Service Department, 950 Big Tree Road, South Daytona, Florida, 32119. Please include details such as time, date, location, and description of the problem you experience. This will help in determining the appropriate personnel to contact in order to resolve any difficulties you may have as quickly as possible. If your complaint cannot be resolved, you may obtain information on the grievance process by contacting the customer service manager and requesting a copy of our adopted grievance procedure. Or you may call the Florida Commission for the Transportation Disadvantage Osbudsman Hotline 1-800-983-2435. Acknowledgement of Receipt Form. The information provided in this guide is important in helping you to understand your transportation options on the Votran Gold Service. We encourage you to review it completely and to contact the customer service staff if you have any questions regarding the information contained within this guide. It is important for Votran staff to know that you have received this user guide. Please call Votran at 386-756-7496 or 386-761-7496. 7700 and ask to speak to a customer service representative. Once on the line, request information on your acknowledgement of receipt form. You will receive one Votran Gold token as a thank you for completing this form. Try the bus. 
If you have questions regarding a bus schedule, a route map, or any additional information, give us a call and we will help you plan your trip. You may also use the interactive trip planner on votran.org or email questions to votran customer service at volusia.org. Customer service lines are open Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Travel training is also available in Daytona Beach, 386-761-7700. In Southeast Volusia, 386-424-6800. In West Volusia, 386-943-7033. Three eight six seven five six seven four eight seven.